Hello, I'm Brandon Gonzalez with Guardian Safe and Lock. And I'm Brian Jarbo with Guardian Safe and Lock. And today we're going to show you how to rekey a basic, simple Schlage deadbolt. To start it all off, you want to take it off the door. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, we loosened up the screws. That way it's an easier transition here. So once you get this in hand, you'll have the deadbolt. And I'll pass it over here to Brandon. He'll show you where to go from here. All right, guys. With Schlage deadbolts, they commonly have a screw on the back side of the cylinder just to simply keep it in place. We already have it unscrewed a little for the most part. Just remove that screw. And out comes the cylinder with the tail piece. On the back of the cylinder, what we're targeting is the, uh, the pin with the spring. And what we have to do is push it down so we can unscrew the cap. And all cylinders aren't gonna have this retaining pin cap. Some of them will have C-clips. Some of them have other stuff that you have to do to remove it. But for this demonstration purpose, we're gonna show you how to do it with the retaining cap. Alrighty guys, you wanna make sure you don't lose this pin or this spring. They're very valuable. If you lose them, they're hard to replace. The first thing we're gonna do is stick the working key, turn it 90 degrees, and we get our follower. Press it against the back of the cylinder, always keep in constant contact, and push the cylinder out. And we have our five driver pins right here. Pull the key out, and we're not going to use these since we're going to be using a new key. Stick the new key in, and we have uh, our numbers right here. And with Schlage, the numbers identify what increments they are based upon the chart right here. So first off, we're going to do a 6, which is a 255. We have to make sure that we have the beveled end of the pin facing down and the flat end on the top side so we can create the sh proper shear line. We got a three, which is a 210, a seven, which is 270, a six, which is 255, and a four, which is 225. All right, notice how all the pins are flush, pull the key out, we'll stick the old key in, and now the old key will not work since the pins aren't flush or in place properly. So we stick the working key in, always keep in constant contact with the cylinder and the follower, push it through, and then Get the key centered, always keeping constant pressure with the index finger, push the key out, because if you don't do that and you pull the key out, it can actually drop all the, uh, the pins and springs inside the Bible right here. So what we're gonna do is piece back the cylinder, put the spring in, pin, grab the tail piece, cap, Screw it back on, righty tighty. And luckily, the pin fell right into place. So we'll test the key, make sure it comes out without any issues. It turns pretty smoothly, like butter. You wanna test Brian real quick? And from there, we just pop it back into the, the housing and then reinstall it back onto the door. Uh, if you do end up having any issues getting it back together on your door, you can always give your local locksmith a call or give us a call here at Guardian Safe and Lock and we can help you out with that. And you can follow us on uh, Twitter at Guardian Lock or simply look us up on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. 
with the username guardian safe and lock and it should pull us up.